but it's bigger than an ibis. And so the shape, if you look at the body, it, the body looks almost like a football shape. And then it's got longer legs. It's got a little longer neck. And then its bill is very unique. And it has, it comes down and then like a spoon. And then the roseate is the color. So that's how this bird got its name by the color of the body and the bill. So roseate spoon bills. Um, they are uh, just under three feet in length. And when we measure length, uh, it's from the bill to the tail, not from the how high it's off the ground. Uh, and they fly, when they fly, their necks are outstretched. They weigh less. If you go with your mom or dad to the grocery store and you pick up a gallon of milk, a gallon of milk is like 32 ounces. And so two is like 64. Well, the spoon bill weighs less than two gallons of milk. And the wingspan is like four feet, uh, four and a half feet is the length of the wingspans. So here you can see, so the measurement from the bill to the tail, that's how they measure it. And this one here is an immature uh, roseate, and I'll tell you about that in just a second. You can see the legs as it's draping, dragging its legs behind it. The color pattern. One of the things that uh, you notice is the roseate, and someone asked me once, how does it get its color? Is it like the flamingos that have to eat certain crustaceans or the food they eat? And that's the answer is yes. What they eat helps them give that color. Now, in this picture, you're seeing an adult in the foreground. That's an adult roseate. And the back with its bill open is, uh, or beak, if you want to call it, that's an immature. The white ones with a long kind of curved bill, those are white ibises. But the you look at the color on the shoulder pads, and then it's a white neck. And the adults do not have any feathers on their head. And they have a red eye. Now here you can see that this is an immature because it has feathers on its head. It takes the immature about three years before they become the, have the adult plumage. The feeding, that's another thing I mentioned before, is how do they feed? Well, they'll open their bill just a little and they'll w move it back and forth in the water. And what they're doing is trying to feel uh, if there's any fish, crabs, uh, slugs, or beetles that they can get. And so that's what they feed on. They sweep the bill back and forth, side to side, open a little, and then if they feel something, they grab it, and that's their food. In nesting, uh, I should say that we are very thank, uh, blessed to have the roseate spoonbills because they're not found all over the, the world. They're not even found all over in North America. They're found mainly along the coast of Florida and Texas and Mexico. And so we are in here in Florida, they they have their babies in the winter time. Like right now, the babies are growing. They've already been hatched. Uh, they usually take about 22, day, 22 to 24 days be, uh, before they hatch out. And the eggs are, they can have one to five eggs and the, their eggs are white with brown brown spots on them, and, and the babies can fly on their own between six and eight weeks. So as we come back to that verse, Psalms 104, 12, the birds of the sky nest by the waters and they sing among the branches. I just think of that every time I hear sitting in my uh, home or going out for a walk, I, I just listen to the birds. And they're just a very pleasant sound. And it reminds me once again uh, that Jesus loves us and he's given this to us to enjoy. So always be thankful. Thank Jesus every time you go out and you see the trees, you see the flowers, and you see the birds, and you hear the birds and the animals. Just say a prayer 
thank you, Jesus, for the beauty that you have given to us to enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great Sabbath. Now we get to draw. So all of the children, I hope you have your paper and uh, your colored pencils and your markers. Are you ready to draw, kids? Yeah. What? What? Anybody need Hi. more? Time? Anybody need more time to get your papers and stuff? Okay. Uh, I hope you were paying really good attention. Uh, you okay? All right. Yeah. I've um, seen. What's that, Chloe? My screen keeps on going to different places other than the chat. Oh, okay. Well, I just put my whiteboard up. Maybe that's what you see. Do you see my whiteboard? No. Drawing in a minute. You should see my whiteboard. And these go. What's that? Mm. You, you see a whiteboard on your screen? No. All right, maybe somebody can help you over there. I hope that the, you got some help because now's the time to draw it. Oh. oh boy, I can wait a few minutes. Anybody there can help you? Grandpa, can you help her get the whiteboard? She should be seeing my screen. Does everyone else see my screen? Yeah, yes. we see a white screen. Okay, that's what you should see. Yeah. Let's just wait a minute because I understand. I can see the screen. You don't see the screen? Hmm. Well, you know what? This is being recorded. So if you don't, you're going to be able to watch it. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to call you afterwards and I'm going to draw with you one on one, okay? So I don't know what's happening over there. That's so disappointing. Yeah. I hope the children were looking at the um, pictures really closely. So that will help you as you draw. And Chloe, maybe you can try, maybe someone can get you a picture of a roseate spoon bill. And so while I'm teaching everyone else how to draw, you can look at a picture. Do you think that would work for you? Okay. Yeah, pull up a picture and, and see. Um, you could just put that in your search. Okay, so this, it's really hard um, to actually draw one of these because it would take up most of our paper. So I'm going to start from the top and I'm going to start with the head, right? So you're going to make the head, just going to make like a round head and then you're going to go down and make the um, bill. Now mine's coming out with a shaky kind of a line, which I don't know why, but that's okay. Let me see, maybe I'll move this a little closer to me here. Okay, and now you're going to make the head come around. And you're going to make the neck, okay? Then you see how between the beak and the neck, sometimes when you're drawing, it's really good to look at what we call white space. So do you see a triangle shape right here? You see this? Almost looks like a triangle. If yours looks like a triangle between where the beak is and the head is, then you know you're on the right track. You have the right amount of white space, okay? Then we're gonna go over and make the body over here. We're gonna to start to make some wings around, okay? Then the other side of the neck, we're gonna go down and around and kind of catch up with the body over here. Now we're not gonna to have too much room for the legs, but we'll put the starting point of them. We'll put one leg and then we'll put the other. And I'm gonna wait so you can kind of catch up. Oh, are you able to see it now? No. Okay, so did you find a picture of one to follow along a little bit? No. Okay, I'm going to help you later. I'm so sorry. Okay, then we're going to put the eye over here, right? And how are you doing, kids? You keeping up? Okay, then we're going to put some feathers in here. And remember how we saw that... Um, there were kind of pink feathers at the bottom. And then I don't know if you remember, but you had another band of another color of feathers. And you remember what color the other ones were? You had some red feathers in there. Okay. All right. So now we're going to 
let's let's start dropping in some color make this guy look a little better so let's get some pink in here wait what i'm gonna do is get a broader thing okay let's get some pink in here drop a little pink in the feathers these rosette spoonbills are so beautiful i actually was very fortunate because i got to see one in my own neighborhood i was really really surprised but only once did I see one come in. All right, so now we're gonna go over here, pick up a little red, put a little red band. Remember we saw a little red on the top. You might even put a little red over here. Maybe the legs looked kind of reddish. I was gonna make the legs yellow. And then when I saw Uncle Dave giving the video, I was like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna be in trouble if I make this bird the wrong color. Because he, that's how you tell kind of birds. and. He, Uncle Dave will tell us, no, 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 that's not the same bird. That one has black legs, not yellow legs. You got to look. So I got to make sure because if I'm having you do this incorrectly, that would be a confusing thing to get to know birds. You can put a little yellow here in the bill. Now let's see what we want to do. Let's go to a thinner one and we'll put a few dots. I think I saw a few dots up here. Do, 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 do. Did you see a few dots up there? Now, sometimes it's nice when you're drawing to try to put a shadow. I don't seem to have any gray in my palette, so I'll have to use the green. Wait a minute, I'm gonna make it a little fatter. And I'm gonna put a little shadow on this side to make it look a little, so you can kind of tell that there's a little um, form to it. And let's see. I'm going to give mine red eye. red eye. Yeah. Oh, good. I did it right, Uncle Dave. Red eye. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to put a little uh, dot in the eye. Kind of make it look like the real eye. A little bit there. Is he starting to look a little better now? Yeah. Yeah. And he actually has kind of black knees, I think. So you can give him his knees here. All right, so all of you, don't forget to send me your pictures and I will put them in the newsletter. And probably what I'm gonna do next week is um, I will also show the screen with the pictures that came in to make sure that everyone gets to see them. But this is your roseate spoonbill. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you got to make yours. And uh, always remember that you are artists. Remember that what God said at the end of every day of creation, he looked at it, he said it was very good. So when you're an artist and you feel like yours is coming out good, you're, you're in the image of God. Okay, so now, kids, we're going to have a song. I'm going to stop this share. And I'm going to put another share. And so it's time for all the kids to stand up. Stand up, kids. You ready? Everybody standing up? All right, here we go. Can you hear it okay?
Enjoyed that. I'm looking forward to seeing your picture.